Hey Pisces! What's up Pisces? It is Ashley here at Fire Intuition. I am here to do a mid-monthly check-in reading for you all. This is going to be for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, also Venus. Alright, before we hop in Pisces really quick, really, really quick, the April Yanni box is available on my online shop. They are selling out. I think I have like 28 left. Um, in this box, it will come with my Yanni oil, Yanni soap. You guys will get a rose quartz Yanni egg, the Yanni steam herbs, and then it comes with the cord cutting ritual kit as well. Alrighty. Um, if you guys want more information, you guys can go to my online shop, mytears.feelmyheart.com. The information will also be pinned in the comments below. Alrighty. Alrighty, so Pisces, in this reading, we are going to start out with a spirit message. I will hop into the love portion, and then we're going to end it with a spirit message as well. Alrighty, um, in the love portion, I am going to look at the current energy around you guys' relationship, how they feel about you, and what is to happen next. Alrighty, so with that being said, Pisces, let it be great. Let's hop in. Keep in mind, this is general. It's a collective reading for Pisces. It may or may not resonate with all of you, Pisces. But if it does, show your girls some love, like, share, comment, subscribe, hit that bell. All right, Pisces, let's see what's going on with you guys. Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. All right, so we have three messages that came out, and I only want one, and every sign got one. So we're just going to, because I don't like putting it back in and reshuffling. So we're going to do it like this. All right, so let's see, Pisces. We have sparkling jewels. You've tapped into the universe's infinite flow of abundance. Accept your treasures with open wings and a grateful heart. So, yes, I love that I picked this card for you, Pisces. So, you guys um, are in the energy of infinite flow of abundance, which means that a lot of the things are about to come to you. So, you need to be open. Be open. Stay open. Make sure that heart chakra is open to receive all this abundance, all right? All right, Pisces, let's hop in. Let's see what's going on with you guys in love. Universe and spirit, what messages do you have for the sign of Pisces in love? From now until the end of April. Pisces, sun, moon, rising, also Venus. Messages for Pisces, sun, moon, rising, also Venus in love. All right, Pisces, let's see what's going on. All right, Pisces, so we have the Two of Swords, the Queen of Wands, we have the Emperor in Reverse. How your person feels towards you, Eight of Swords, the Three of Swords, Ten of Cups. And then what has happened next? We have the King of Wands, Eight of Pentacles in Reverse, Eight of Wands in Reverse. At the bottom, we do have the oh, this is the chariot. Sorry, the chariot, and then we have it followed by the queen of coins and the star, and the king of cups in reverse. I see what this is about. You guys can be dealing with an Aquarius, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Okay, um, okay, and then we have the emperor in reverse. So I feel like, Pisces, somebody is torn, all right? I feel like somebody is torn and really wants to be with you, but they, they're torn between you and, and their family. So they have a relationship with somebody else, a family with somebody else. Or you guys have a family and they're torn between you. I mean, you know, like, you guys know what I'm saying. So they have somebody else and they're torn and maybe want their family, but they got this other situation going on. But let's see. And the reason why I say that is because we have the Emperor Reverse, Three of Swords, Eight of Swords, Ten of Cups. Somebody in their head, this person is walking on like a rope and they're just like, dang, what should I do? They're in their head, crowning that as a Two of Swords with the Three of Swords, third party energy. There's a family or somebody has a family or children involved or somebody wants to be a family. But the Emperor Reverse is not being honest and that is what has slowed things down or changing things. Or that's what's going to lead to a breakup or separation. But then it's like this person is going to come back and try to be like, no, I want you. But then the King of Cups is in reverse. They want you, yes, but still 
I don't know. I don't trust the King of Cups when he's in reverse. That can be somebody that will charm you and tell you everything you want to hear. You know, sex you up, suck your toes, do all type of crazy stuff, and then go back to doing the same dumb shit again. You know? So, I don't know. We're going to see. We're going to see, Pisces, what this is about. Let me get a little message for Pisces. Ecstasy. Your partner elevates your mind, body, and soul. This feeling of pleasure is electrifying. So, it's a vibe. It could be a vibe between you guys. And then we have missed chances. So, I feel like it could be a vibe. Like I said, this person may turn you on. It may feel like ecstasy. You may be like, yes, this is it like you know they're in touch when you see them when you look at them all of that but somebody is torn whether it's you or them and i feel like it's them that's torn somebody is definitely torn and needs to figure out a situation asap all right so let's see why the two of swords is here and pisces for some of you guys i feel like you guys are very attractive um or i feel like when it comes to this person like maybe like, I feel like you could be, like, the most attractive person they ever talked to or something about you or, like, you're just really cute or beautiful or you stand out from the rest or something like that. The way the Queen of Wands is like, no, like, not me. Like, you know, I don't know. I'm not saying, like, you guys are conceited or anything, but that's the energy I'm getting. Like, you know, like, I feel like it was a challenge for them to get you or, you know, like, they probably didn't think they can get you, you know, and then they did. But see, Two of Swords. We have a five of wands reverse. See, they're trying to avoid some type of confrontation or drama. And I feel like some of you guys confronted them recently about something, but they're not saying nothing. This is also somebody in doubt, like, or just, should I stay, should I go? Seven of cups. There's a lot of confusion around this situation. And due to the confusion, instead of figuring out, figuring things out and making a decision, Somebody is giving in to both situations because that's easier for them. That's easier than making a decision about you or the other person. All right, let's see why the emperor is in reverse really quick. Why is the emperor in reverse? Could be an Aries, let's see. The Knight of Swords. So it wasn't thinking, rushed into something, or made an impulse decision. Nine of Pentacles. Somebody could have lied and told you that they were single, or they had just became single and jumped into something with you, but there was unfinished business with somebody else. Yeah, that's why we have the Seven of Pentacles here. Somebody that they were in a relationship with for a long time. And something changed or they took a break in that relationship and they got with you. But that situation was still there. Like, it's, you know, Six of Cups. Somebody, yeah, before you, somebody that they have children with. Or they rekindled or, you know, reconnected right after, you know, getting with you or you guys starting your relationship. Also, feel with the Knight of Swords, somebody could be mad that you, that they got with you. You know, like, and that could be a problem, too. The Knight of Swords. See the Four of Pentacles. So somebody could be mad that some like your person, whoever you're dealing with Pisces, their person could be mad that they got with you and they don't like that. And they want you out the picture. And I feel like for some of you guys, whoever this other person is, they feel like, you know, like I'm not going anywhere. Like I'm always going to be here. I'm always going to be around. Like we may not be together right now, but I'm always going to be in the picture. And I don't know why they have that attitude or why that's their energy, but let's see. Yeah, judgment. So it's like this, they feel like this person is always going to take them back or they're going to be open to take that person back or that's just the decision this person is making right now. But, you know, four of swords, maybe they are on a break or they feel like, oh, we're just on a little break. They'll be back, three of pentacles. Our relationship will start back up. So that's how they feel. That's what they think and that's how they feel. Okay. Um, you guys can be dealing with a cancer because we got the chariot here. So let's see how this person feels towards you. We got the Eight of Swords, Three of Swords. Why is this here? Three of Wands. Yep, see, they're confused. Like, this is them in their head and inner conflict. They're like, dang. This is somebody feeling mentally restricted. Like, dang, like, what should I do? They're like, if I move forward with Pisces, then I'm going to hurt the other person. If I move forward with the other person, then I'm going to hurt Pisces. See, and that's how the Two of Swords is there. And then we have the Three of Swords. So like I said, it's best for them or it's easier for them to just keep it as a third party and play both sides. That's what this is telling me. And take a risk and, you know, step out on you to be with them and then 
be with them and then step out on them to be with you. Um, we have the Knight of Cups in reverse. Yeah, an X is in the picture for sure. Or they keep going back to somebody. But then they have you. You guys are showing up as a Queen of Wands in this reading, King of Pentacles. They're telling you that they want to be with you or commit to you or like move in together or maybe this person is financially stable. They have money. So it's like they're, they take care of you. They do a lot of things for you. But I also feel like they do these things for you out of guilt or just because of what they are doing behind the scenes. The King of Swords, Nine of Wands, Reverse. So for some of you guys are doing it because they don't want you to like give up on them, let them go. You know, they know that it's, it's been a lot or they just don't want you to like kind of give up on the relationship and cut them off and block them. So that can be why. But I do feel like a part of it wants to like have something serious with you. And I also feel like they do things to kind of take your mind off of them and then like, my, okay, so it's like whoever this is, I feel like they do things or say things or support you in a way or show up in a way to where it may have you thinking like, nah, they wouldn't do that. But then I feel like you know they will, but then it takes your mind off of it. And then they're back being sneaky, if that makes sense. Because we have the Seven of Swords here with the Nine of Swords reverse. So it's like they take your mind off whatever is stressing or bothering you are. It's like they kind of put your mind at ease and, you know, take your mind off of the situation and then go sneak off and do what they do. Or they do that for you to think or believe like, you know, like they're not being deceptive anymore and they are. So I just feel like whoever this is, they're very charming, very slick. They know how to manipulate. I thought like they know how to get in your head. Pisces at times. Let's see. Why is the Nine of Swords here with the Seven of Swords? Nine of Swords in with the Seven of Swords. We have the Empress. Yeah, see, there's a, the mother, their child, or somebody else in their life, or their wife, or whoever. Yeah. See? And they're telling this person that they're moving on from you. Um. So, yeah, I don't know, Pisces. And they've been reconnecting and been, been with this person lately. See, seven of they've been chilling with this person, reconnecting, going out, you know, trying to get things back on good terms with them and all the type of stuff. So, I don't know. They really need to figure it out. They do. For real. For real, for real. All right. Let's pull from my fire intuition, um, real shit work with it. Messages for Pisces. We have same sex relationships. Some of you guys, it could be a same sex relationship. We have shopping addiction. Somebody can have a shopping addiction. We have karma, third party relationship. So, for some of you guys, their karma may be that they may lose you due to having you in a third party relationship. But then again, like I told you guys, somebody does a lot of things or buy, buys things for you or does stuff for you. It could be even expensive things. And they're doing that, you know, because of this third party. Because they don't want to feel bad. Like the karma card can be something like they don't want to feel bad for what they're doing. And they are keeping secrets. And they're, yeah, somebody is keeping secrets. But we're going to see. I'm going to clarify that karma card. New more card for Pisces. We have let the past go. And sick and tired of their shit. So I like what you're sick and tired of is the fact that you believe that they're not over their past and that the past is still in the picture. You guys could have met this person online. Hmm. So let's go into the karma card. Seven of Wands reverse. See, I told you their karma may be that they may lose you. And nine of pentacles and you guys just may become single and free for this relationship and still move on and do you you know um let's see shopping addiction see the justice card i told you and the devil this person is doing this to you know um to stay in your good graces are they're doing it because they know like you may like material things with the devil are they're that like that's their way of like you know feeling like they're getting you to stay with them justice in the devil card like, oh if i buy this or do that or whatever 
for some of you guys, it says trying to impress the homeboys, but I feel like it's more of them, you know, trying to impress you. It could be trying to impress the homeboys, like, oh, I got two relationships, we got direct deposit, but I feel like every time their money comes in or every time they get money, I feel like they always do things for you guys or, you know, somebody is going to do something big or major for you guys. Yep, three of wands. It's something within regards to like your career or something that you want or a business or something that you're trying to start up or do. Or like I said, this person, when they get money, it's like they always want to dine you, take care of you, do things for you. But at the same time, they got this other situation going on. All right. Um, so let's see. Pisces. For what has happened next, we have the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Let's see how this Eight of Pentacles is in reverse. I do see the King of Wands here. It could be Aries, Yo, Sag. Why is the Eight of Pentacles in reverse? Let's see, look, the Devil and the Moon. Ooh, in reverse. So the Eight of Eight of Pentacles in reverse with the Eight of Wands in reverse is telling me there may be a breakup. Okay, and it's due to an affair, something being revealed. That's your energy, Pisces. It could be with a Capricorn. Maybe you guys can be dealing with another Pisces or a Capricorn, or there could be a Pisces or a Capricorn involved. Yep, and the, with the world card, that's going to change everything because we got the two of pentacles. We have the emperor. I told you, they can have a child with this person or be married. And see, they, like, what you're going to find out or what you're finding out is they actually went back to somebody. Or like, I told you, something wasn't over. Yep, see, we have the Wheel of Fortune and we have the Eight of Wands reverse. And this is you thinking, like, they stopped talking to this person altogether. And then we have the Eight of Wands in reverse here again. So going into this energy, see, we have the, the Nine of Swords and we have the Ten of Wands. Now you guys aren't talking and you're stressed and you're trying to figure everything out. But just a minute ago, or from now on to the end of April, they may try to come back still trying to, like, move things forward with you. And I see the Death card, someone wanting to end things. But then I don't see the ending happening. I feel like there might be, like, an ending within working it out and... They make you happy again or whatever. I don't know. I feel like... Mm, don't get mad at me when I say this, Pisces. But I feel like even after all this is said and done, for some of you guys, I feel like you know what's going on and they're going to try to come back like they always do or come towards you and do what they always do. And even though you're stressed and tired of their shit and want it to be over, I just see you still like moving forward and happy with them. So I'm not judging you or anything, but I'm just saying like the way the reading is unfolding... And how it looks is that, like, this is, I, I just feel like this is going to happen again. But I can't tell y'all what to do. Because, look, the sun is here. And then, look, we have the ten of coins. Them talking about commitment, being serious and all that. And then, look what we got. The sun in reverse. You sad again, feeling down, feeling left out by them. Them feeling by you again, depressed, and back into the same energy. But... That part's not going to resonate for all of you guys. Maybe they are going to come back and make you happy and be on top of their game and do what they're supposed to do to keep you or whatever. But for others of you, is this going to be a, like you're only going to be happy for a moment? All right, so let's see. We have the XSC card. Why is the XSC card here for um, Pisces? We have, I don't have time for your shit. See, I told you, so like, it's, there could be a lot of chemistry and intense connection. But I find this person is, you know, full of shit sometimes. And we have, I miss being inside you. And then we have divine masculine. You may find this person is your divine masculine. You may find there's some type of twin flame connection here. And then we have, I know your ass is lying. Or the divine masculine could just tell me that that is somebody that you consider yourself committed to. Or, you know, it just can be like their masculine energy, you know. Um, let me see. I know your ass is lying. You have me at hello. So I feel like it could have been love for, at first sight for some of you guys. And then we have I love you suspiciously, see? So I feel like you do have your like your suspicions. Like you are suspicious of them. You know, like you don't trust them. There are trust issues. But then there's this ecstasy feeling that you get when you're around them. And maybe you can't seem to help or control how they make you feel. Okay? But. And this person could be telling you that they're shopping for rings. That they have good intentions. But. They really need to let go of this other person, Pisces, for sure. If you guys are going to work it out or be together, I move forward or do what you do. Um, all right. So let's see. Let's pull your spirit message, Pisces.
Let's see, message for Pisces. Spirit message for Pisces. We have Divine Being, number 16. All right, let's see if this is about Pisces. Pisces, let's see. All right. It says, you can make a great difference here on earth, but you do need to be in a, in a physical body to be effective. Give yourself the time to grieve a loss, the space to feel your emotions, and the grace to be gentle on yourself. You are going through a season of trial, but on the other side is the likeness of being that could only exist if you have lived through hard times. Keep your spirits up by surrounding yourself with uplifting people. Doing the things you love to do, wearing comfortable clothes and eating nourishing foods. Don't ask too much of yourself at this time. If you feel fear or darkness around you, always look for the lights. Turn your mind to kinder and happier thoughts and treat yourself as a precious object that you are. Focus on and remain in your heart center, imagining a beautiful light filling your space, filling the space. And then it says for the mantra, when I trust myself, no, I'm sorry. When I treat myself with gentleness, I make myself stronger. Okay. So Pisces, you guys are a divine being and maybe you guys are going through a lot, but whatever you're going through, whatever you're grieving, a loss, needing space, needing to feel or connect with your emotions, needing some time to yourself, it's doing nothing but making you stronger and putting you towards the light. So there is light at the end of the tunnel. It wants you to show and express love and compassion to yourself and remain gentle to yourself at this time. And no matter what you do, focus on your heart center and make sure you remain and keep yourself happy at all times. Alrighty? Alrighty. So that's what I have for you right now, Pisces. All right. Um, if it resonated, please do like, share, comment, subscribe, hit that bell. If you guys would love to book with me, fireintuition.com. If you guys would love to purchase the April Yanni box, my online shop is mytearsofhealmyheart.com. And that's it. Stay dope. Follow your girl on IG as fire underscore intuition. I'm also on TikTok and Facebook. Alrighty. I love you, Pisces. You got this. And yes, I'll see you guys in the next collective reading. Bye, loves.